Hey, it's Ellie. Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with this video, I just want to congratulate each and every one of us for making it to 2023. I know that the last year was pretty tough on a lot of us, including me, but let us not forget that overcoming struggles are a sign of growth. And growth is the most beautiful thing that one can experience because it means that we are moving forward in life. It means that our minds and our bodies are being conditioned to face what is to come, what is truly meant for us. So I'm proud of each and every one of you who pushed through, and I'm glad that you're here with me today. This year, I'm hoping and praying for continuous motivation, discipline, and productivity. But I'm also praying for bliss, contentment, and serenity. And now, I present to you my first vlog of the year for day one of 365. You know that there was this time where I was scrolling through what is it what is it Facebook I was scrolling through Facebook and there's this one post saying that like it is impossible for girls to put on their mascara without opening their mouths and ever since I've always became conscious and every time I put mascara on I'm just like <laughs> but anyways you guys hello it is currently what is it 2 40 in the afternoon and my family and I decided that we wanted to go out today. We're going to the city. We're going to BGC, I think. We all got ready. I'm still getting used to this whole bang thing. I'm still kind of regretting I did it, but should I clip this up? Hold on. Anyway, happy new year, you guys. It's 2023, can you believe that? Like, can you actually believe that a whole year has gone by just the fact that that was a year but that's it like that's that's it it's over anyway of course i cannot go anywhere without my lucky charm i'm calling that my lucky charm it's my pandora bracelet with the charm that my parents bought me when i passed the board exam and i forgot to charge my apple watch hold on oh my gosh it's a good thing that those charge really fast Ta-da! anyway uh, this is my- hold on. Okay, y'all. Focus. This is my outfit of the day. Um, crop top from Uniqlo, black cardigan, blue jeans, and, uh, black heels. They are very much comfortable, walkable. I take these to the city a lot, so you guys know. If I can walk in these heels, that means they're comfortable. And then, of course, we got our little bang situation going on. Some gold jewelry. And I know it's kind of basic, but you cannot lie. This looks pretty classy. And I hate how there's this whole stigma of like, oh, Tita outfits, like she looks like a Tita, she dresses like a Tita, she acts like a Tita, but you can't even lie that the Tita style is classy. It looks classy, it looks expensive, it's exquisite. It's like modern Audrey Hepburn. That's what it's giving, and I love it. And that's the vibe that I'm going for this year. I really want to elevate my style. I want to look more classy, mature, but not old. You know what I mean? Like, I want to look mature, but I don't want to look like I'm 40 years old or something. Because, girl, she's only 22. I don't know. Is it cute? I'm kind of feeling it. So, yeah, I have to go charge my Apple Watch, and then we will be leaving in a few minutes, I think.
let's go. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. Late night walks with you to take me home. <laughs> With you, I never feel alone. These little songs make me glad to call you mine. And you have got my head in the clouds. First, the cheesy fries. I love anything cheesy. I personally love this kind of cut when it comes to my french fries, but it could have been a little more crunchier, so I give it a 9 out of 10. For the shack burger, the bun was a little too soft. It was kind of like a big dinner roll. The beef was good quality meat though. It was very, very smoky, but I was looking for something special, like some kind of special sauce, and I don't know, it was just a little bit buttery, but overall, it was pretty good, so I gave it a 6.5 out of 10. Lastly is the cookies and cream milkshake. This is my go-to flavor so I already like it but we waited till the end to drink it so it was a little bit melted and really runny and I kind of wanted some bigger chunks of cookies but again this is my go-to flavor. I love cookies and cream so I gave it an 8 out of 10. Oh my gosh, there's literally only one more. That's it. Hot. That's it for the night. Clocking in. Clocking We're out. going home. Let's go, let's go. I wanna go. Gonna be too tired, bro. I'm tired. <laughs>